Ah, we are live. It says we're live anyway. And the stream is healthy. So welcome. Good evening. Hi, George. And uh, hello, Ben. Hi, Dave. Um, <laughs> I don't know about pointless. This, uh, this uh, may or may not be pointless. But um, I'm just wondering who else is going to appear. There are Oh, three of you. So that's uh, it's going to be a huge stream from my massive following. Um, right. Um, to get to it then. So uh, my TS100 is um, it's not dead. It's just the screen. It actually works um, to the point that you can plug it in, turn it on and even burn yourself with it. Um, but of course, it would be nice to have a screen that would remind you that it's on. Uh, rather than just wait for the pain or the, the smell of burning flesh. So I thought I should repair the screen. Um, I've spared you the, uh, the pain of, uh, of removing the screws. But uh, there are three screws. The short ones go in the top and the long one goes in the bottom. And, uh, and then it's just a matter of uh, prizing the, the case off which is pretty straightforward and there's a, a little tab at the bottom but it, it so it comes out from the front uh, and down I've had this apart before um, obviously to find out what was wrong and uh, it seems like it's the screen so I ordered up uh, some of these from uh, Aliexpress and amazingly um, they came in seven or eight days no the fifth to the 15th 10 days which uh, from china which was pretty good however the shipping was more than the cost of the screen so i bought two so um i kind of uh, it was 50 50 uh, shipping and screens uh, about one pound 50 each plus the shipping so not too bad and worth worth a punt to see if uh, if that's what's wrong with with this anyway um, so we'll go and uh, take it apart. There's um, there's just a couple of screws really uh, after we get through the case. And so there we go. And so everything falls out. Um, I'm just going to place them apart so that I can try and get them back in the right order. Uh, along with their screws. Sorry about the uh, the surface mount confetti. I was uh, was doing a few other boards the other day, and uh, and then it it kind of falls out. This is an important piece. Um, it will get in the way as we uh, as we try and put it back together again. You kind of have to uh, put something in a screwdriver or, and just to force it forward to allow um, this little tab here uh, inside the case will hold it forward against the uh, against this this front face here so that's the buttons we'll put them to one side the case to one side and here we have the screen so it's pretty straightforward um, the screen I don't know if you can see is held on by two sticky pads uh, one here and one here so um, I figured out it was just um, just a matter of easing it away from the screen and then levering it up and of course the bit that we really want to get to is underneath the uh, the second pad but they come off pretty easily and retain some semblance of stickiness so I'm hoping not to have to uh, to use uh, any goopy stuff right so I guess it's time to uh, heat up the soldering iron oh yeah soldering iron you need an ascent a soldering iron another uh, TS 100 <laughs> so uh, it's always good to have one spare this one works or it did at the last uh, there we go last go and uh, I think we'll have some flux. Can't have. Oh, yes. 
so a bit of flux and I'll try and zoom in oh is that that's better yeah George um, I like it because um, I can stick it almost in a back pocket um, and this one's been around the world like three times now and it's never let me down and I power it from a laptop power supply so actually I don't really have to carry um, another power supply with me now I'm going to bring it to the bottom of the screen here because otherwise I, I will get in the way of the uh, let's get this melted and see if I I'll just see if I can get it up pin by pin see what's going to work here maybe I'll get the air gun out I think that would be the by far the easiest way of doing it air time yeah Ben I uh, haven't managed to do that actually it's a pretty good thing um, it goes to sleep and uh, winds itself right down to a, a temperature you can program in um, and so it, it's not burning yourself isn't really too much of a problem with it right let's see what we can make of this yeah I'm sorry you can't see this aha here it comes okay it's off and well sorry guys it looks fairly clean you know, I'm just, I'm going to get my uh, super duper tool out right here. Okay, screen time. Yeah, it's just um, heating back up. It's up to 320. It was uh, holding down there, Ben, at, uh, at 200. So let's see if we can get some solder on. I can see a lot better. Um, that's better. some lead on there see if we can uh, make some sense out of this now this has to go on this way up so shall we tin it or not let's put some flux on in fact there's probably enough flux right on the end here and then hopefully we won't get any bridges underneath and all will be well Holding this is another matter. So let's see if we can. Ooh. Well, that went horribly well. Hmm. Come on, off you come. Well, that's hilarious. However, it is not abnormal for in this room. I normally end up doing things twice and learning something. And I guess it goes along the lines of uh, that old thing, measure twice and cut once. There's no resistors to blow away. There we go. Sort out our solder bumps. These things, I like the way they heat up. They heat up really, really quickly. I mean, I just... Okay, it was slightly warm. Uh, but disconnected from the power and it went from 100 degrees to 320 in a matter of... Um, a few seconds really so do we think it's this way around I think it's this way around 
I'm going to straighten it out a little bit. a bit of flux on there. Oh dear, too much flux. There we go. And I can see every pin is separate. Hey, Aaron, nice to see you. And uh, yeah, I think uh, Aaron, you uh, you missed the exciting bit because I managed to uh, I managed to uh, solder it on backwards the first time. So uh, here we are. We're we're getting ready to to uh, power up so we can. Uh, oh, we have life. Okay. There is a quick bit of life, so what I'm going to do is find the other sticky pad. We'll pop it. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We could try and be almost professional about this. And clean up the flux. Brush your teeth. There we go. Now at least there's, if there's a spark, there's something to go on fire. So we'll pop sticky pad back on. Not that that one actually does much. Pop this one back on. Oh, now they're not sticky. Probably too much alcohol. You're not going to play, are you? Anyway, looks like it's ready. Powered up, screen soldered, looking good. I should have showed you that, I suppose. Hey! <laughs> so, what I'm going to do now, the power is off. I'm going to release it from the contraption and we'll put it back together again and see if it works. Now, um, it's fun putting these together. I found the easiest way is to drop the buttons in first. And a pair of tweezers if you have some, if not a screwdriver is always useful okay then screens in place the back goes in first but the thing not to forget is this uh, front part which hooks under the uh, under the PCB and then you can pop it down there. Right, the coppery bits. There's one. And the screw. really use tweezers for this. My fingers are just too big. There we go. Take 
takes a bit of wiggling to get the screw in the hole, but there you go. Dave will know more about that than me. Good. Next screw. Next coppery bit. And it's helpful. They, uh, they've even put the pad... They've made the pad the same shape as the uh, the coppery brassy bit, and it shows you which uh, hole to put the screw in. Oops. Chinese must have incredibly nimble fingers. Okay, so that's it back together. Um, and now the trick comes again. I mentioned previously this uh, holding this uh, this coppery piece forward as we put the uh, the case back together again. So the tab goes in the back, and then I just get a screwdriver to hold that forward. Uh, we're a bit out of focus. There we are. To hold that forward and you can slide the case down and it just clicks into place awesome so the long screws in the bottom Oh, Aaron is asking about um, anyone ever flashed a GD32 SOC? Oh, George, yeah, sorry, just catching up. Yes, I did. I left. Uh, I, I'm going to treat that as a protective coating. Hopefully it never gets hot enough in there for the smoke to come out. We'll see. So I bet we can plug this in now. I think I uh, over tightened the bottom screw. There we go. We're in. stand back on boots up heats up and you can see quite how uh, how quickly it does heat up it's uh, it's pretty good and then it's pretty rock steady too and uh, is it really on yeah look smoke Awesome. Sorted. Well, 